Hello everybody and welcome back to the One Channel. Uh, it feels really cool to be saying that um, really for the first time in this YouTube channel's history as I was previously known as the Dig Site and previously um, before that I was uh, uh, Primal Instincts which is a really stupid name. Um, for those of you wondering why I'm not uploading so much as I uh, promised I would, I said I would be uploading every day. Quite frankly, um, there are three reasons why I'm not doing that. Firstly, I've got university work to be doing at the moment. Secondly, um, I've been really busy outside of that. And thirdly, I'm really, really lazy. <laughs> um, and and, and you know, it's, it's hard to, it's easy to forget about YouTube stuff. Um, and also when I don't really have the software at the moment to be making, you know, crazy, really good videos. But hey, I'm going to be starting a new series, um, similar to my Dino bios, where I basically talk about, it's a mini series, I won't keep this going on forever. Um, different biomes of the Mesozoic era, and, um, well, not necessarily the Mesozoic, I suppose it could also span, uh, 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 um, really all of prehistory. So today we're going to be talking about coal forests. This should be pretty quick, I don't want to go over this, uh, uh, too much and exaggerate it. It's going to be just a little, uh, uh, info uh, video about coal forests and what they actually are. And then we can, in the next video I'll be talking about arid uplands, and after that, it will be oases and desert streams, and I'll keep talking about different biomes after that. So, coal forests in today's video. Perhaps the earliest environment populated by tetrapods was the delta swamps of late Devonian and Carboniferous times. Primitive plants grew on sandbanks at river mouths and formed forests. These were ideal habitats for the amphibians, the earliest reptiles and the invertebrates that fed them. During Devonian and Carboniferous times, the constantly but slowly moving continents were beginning to move closer to one another, ultimately forming the single supercontinent of Pangaea. As the continents converged and collided, they threw up massive mountain ranges along their edges. Vigorous weathering cut into these mountains, and huge amounts of eroded debris, such as sand and silt, was washed into the surrounding shallow seas, building up vast areas of deltas and swamps. This geographical activity co coincided with the first widespread development of plant life, and soon these deltas and swamps were clothed in early plant life such as forests of ferns, giant horsetails and huge trees that were the relatives of the present day's insignificant club mosses. In the shallow weed-choked waters and moist undergrowth, land-living amphibians and the first egg-laying reptiles thrived. The unstable nature of the deltas, their frequent inundation by the sea and their subsequent rebuilding, led to a cyclical sequence of sediments in which marine sediments were followed by river sediments, followed by sediments that formed dry land, followed by marine sediments again. The prolific growth of plants at this time produced thick beds of peat that eventually became seams of coal when the whole sequence solidified into rocks. The first animals to inhabit this swampy environment were land-living arthropods such as insects. Over time, vertebrates left the water and evolved into land-living animals, using this insect fauna as a food source. The abundant animal life of the time is found as fossils in various parts of the rock sequence. Rock sequences such as these are today found throughout the traditional coal mining areas of Europe and North America. And uh, that was coral, uh, sorry, coral, <laughs> that was coal forests. Um, it's really quite interesting and something that I've never really seen truly delved into to, to, to explain and learn about uh, 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 the biomes of, of prehistoric uh, um, land. I, I think that, you know, truly the, these are probably some of the most important things to learn about when you're learning about prehistory understanding that this land and the way it was formed and the topography of the land is really the only reason that life evolved in the first place or <laughs> not the only reason life evolved in the first place, but the only reason that life on land really managed to develop and and and, and diversify into what it is today on, on in terms of terrestrial organisms um so i hope you've learned something and if you enjoyed me reading this i i like these little short videos i don't like going into huge you know, um, lengthy videos, because I think, it, I think it's better for people just to listen to something shortly and stay, uh, tuned into it instead of listening to something that's like 40 minutes long and maybe not, uh, remembering as much as it, of, of what they would normally remember. Um, at least that's how I learn. I don't know if that's how other people learn where, 
you know, they, they prefer to listen to shorter things, let me know, because I'm more than happy to talk about things in a longer uh, um, video. But uh, I mentioned that I have new equipment. Um, I do. I'm struggling to figure out how to work it. <laughs> That's why you haven't seen my face in a little while. Um, I have my new camera, tripod, and lighting. I just don't know what's going on with the camera. It films for like 10 minutes and then shuts off. I don't know why. I don't know what's, what the problem there is. But um, I think it's a problem with my um, SD card but, or SSD. I don't know. I'm not a technological person. <laughs> uh, that's one of the problems that I have is not really the same technology. But yeah, next video, um, at least in this series, will be the Arid Uplands. I want to do another Dino Buyer and probably talk about um, cats. I think, no, my next video will definitely be about cats. I'm going to make a video about cats tomorrow because cats are freaking fantastic. They're very, very interesting animals. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching or listening. Uh, cheers.